Welcome to Knock Bro Nation. Welcome back guys, Jarrell here. And I am Josh. And today, ladies and gentlemen, has Connie's story in The Walking Dead changed because of other obligations that she's currently doing, like Marvel, The Internals? Yeah, so, I mean, we love uh, Lauren Ridloff as a character. We love her as Connie. We hope that her, hopefully a relationship could happen between Daryl and Connie. And we were kind of sad to see that you know, we were led to believe that Connie and possibly Magna could die in the cave. We know they're alive. They're Did just we? trapped in there. Yeah. I mean, you mentioned it, that <laughs> it fell down in front of them. And we're hoping that we're, they're we're alive. We're hoping that they are um, alive. The, the, I think they are. There is not a confirmation of death. No. And usually if there's not a confirmation of death, it means our characters are still alive. Yeah. Well, except for Madison. Anyway, uh, that's screw the fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> I had to throw that out there. Anyway, guys, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're hoping that they're still alive. We believe they are. Daryl hopefully can find them, hopefully in the nick of time. But Angela King was actually talking with Business Insider, and they asked her, is the reason that Connie is now stuck in there due to her commitment to the Eternals? And Angela King's comments were very telling, <laughs> and she confirmed it. Uh, she says that is a very apt observation. Yes, there is some aspect of that that is true, but I think for the story, it's actually worked out really beautifully. Of course it has. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, I don't know, at, like an actress getting pregnant or something and having right. to take some time off, right? Like, yeah. the, you know, didn't uh, Jenna Fisher have to take time off of The Office? Uh, I think she might have. Yeah, yeah. Due to a pregnancy in the show that right. they just worked out. But yeah. obviously completely different here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it it fits just perfect for them, her it being does. trapped in the cave. Yeah, so I mean, of course, they were filming The Walking Dead in 2019. They actually were filming also The Eternals uh, back then as well. And I think The Eternals have finished wrapped. Or they've wrapped, they finished filming. So... I think there could have been scheduling conflicts as to why, but I mean... So let's trap her in a cave. Let's trap her in a cave. We're not <laughs> sure in too many episodes, but um, I mean... But, but as just, far as the story, though, I mean, it kind of sounds like maybe her story would have been different. Maybe she wouldn't have been the one in the cave. Maybe it would have been yeah, somebody else. And, and maybe you, Magna. You know, I don't know. It, it, I'm okay with it, right? Like, Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but... Um, it just means we're probably not going to get her for a couple more episodes. I, I'm assuming... <sighs> That's the thing, though, dude. Okay, so we're like, getting we're getting into episode ten, or by the time you guys watch this, it may already been past episode ten. It's going to be past episode ten, right? And and episode ten is as we did just predictions for it and looked at promo pictures. There's maybe one two shots of the cave, and that's when Daryl's first there of it. runs into Alpha, and then stuff happens between him and Alpha. Yeah, we never see the cave again. Yeah, um, and. I think the next episode after that is not the hilltop, right? No, it's episode 11. Yeah. Yeah, that one's going to be um, episode 11 is Morning Star. So it is going to be dealing with more at the hilltop. So, so we, there could be a potential of three or four episodes before we... Because they're not going to do it in Michonne's episode. Right. Um, so there could be a potential of like three or four episodes before we finally get back to the cave. That's true. Because like the next... Three episodes, two episodes, 11 and 12, it's all going to be the Hilltop. It's going to yeah. be the Battle of the Hilltop. And 13's Michonne. And then we jump into 14, which, stay tuned for that. Oh, my God. Amazing news for episode 14. But, but we don't know. But the, the, the Battle of the Hilltop, we don't see Magna. Nope. We don't see Connie, mm -hmm. at least in the pictures that we've not seen. In the pictures. So I think that also confirms that, yeah, we're not going to see her for a while. We're not going to see them or unless Daryl does make it back to the cave. And unfortunately, they're both gone. No idea, though. Because you got to think. They're trapped in a cave where now they can't get out. There's a ton of walkers in there. <clears throat> Alpha doesn't know how many of them have survived. She probably assumes they're all out of there. But still, there's walkers roaming around unless, you know, Alpha's probably not going to take the horde out until she starts attacking Hilltop. Half of it, maybe. We're still thinking, comic book-wise, the, the rest of the horde is not going to be out until they attack Alexandria. Which could be towards the end of the season. Assuming they even do that. Assuming they even do that. Yes, that's correct. So, I don't know. I just have, I think now I have well, a bad well, feeling can, for Connie. Well, yeah. <laughs> well they, they, they certainly can't wait until the end of the season to be like, hey, we made it out of the cave. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. You know, who knows? Maybe we get it the next episode. Maybe they're maybe just not do. giving us the, you know, the, the pictures, obviously, and revealing that these two make it out. And maybe Daryl does get them. 
I bet you they're probably they probably learned from their mistake from showing the picture of Jerry being out before we even saw it. So they probably maybe got a lot of pushback saying, "Why stop would, revealing yeah, stuff in because, pictures?" You know, knowing that Jerry scene, we would have been more freaked out, and or maybe you fans that didn't know about the picture, you would have been more freaked out that Jerry's going to die. But if you saw the picture, he was already out. You're like, yeah, we know he's getting out. Yeah, so you're not going to be that excited when you're watching the episode. So maybe they've learned to be like, okay, we can't show any pictures of Connie or Magna. We want you guys to be either surprised or very emotional. But, but, I, but I've also heard out. the I've also heard the uh, the comment that uh, Connie and and Magna are another Glenn dumpster. I I've don't, heard that too, yeah. It, it doesn't fit, right? Because we honestly... There, look, there was blood gushing from Glenn's stomach. Yep. Yeah. That was <laughs> a mean, different situation. It literally looked like he was being torn apart. This was just some stuff that fell in front of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you guys saw our reaction. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I thought they were dead. But when I went back and looked at the scene, they were pretty far away from the opening and it all came down in front of them. So yeah. I think they're fine, but... I thought for sure, just for the amount, how big that explosion was, I was like, oh, they're done. Like, I figured it would just shake that entire cave and just it would, everything would collapse down yeah. on them since I it mean, was already started. The whole but. Magna comments about how she's got to get back to Yumiko, um, that really kind of sealed it for me that, look, she's going to make it out of this thing. She's yeah. got some unfinished business to take care of. and She understands what happened between her and Yumiko and her actions. I mean, a lot of people were pissed off when... You know, when Daryl was confronting her when she was stealing all the food and stuff like that, like Daryl was like, so we bring you in and you, you're going to steal from us? Like, you know, Magna had her suspicions still, but it was just like, dude, why are you still being weird? Like, everyone's cool. Just yeah. chill out. But but now she's feeling the gravity of everything and knowing that she, you know, she did her love wrong, you know, with Yumiko. And she doesn't want to die knowing that she left that situation that exactly. way. Exactly. So. Exactly. For Yumiko's sake. I yeah. mean, I loved that scene. It yeah. was great. It was beautiful. And, um, yeah. I I don't think they're dead. And yeah. But but it certainly fits perfectly <laughs> with... And maybe Angela Kang didn't even plan it like that. And she's just like, wow, this is really working out the way. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Maybe. But honestly, guys, it certainly feels like this was planned. Yeah. So let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you believe Connie and Magna are alive? Do you feel that, unfortunately, I mean, we're excited for uh, Laura Ridloff to be in the Eternals, uh, but wonder what her story would have been like if she wasn't in, going to be in this big Marvel movie. But either way, let us know. Smash the like button. Feel free to subscribe. Stay tuned for more Walking Dead Season 10. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're out. <laughs>